Hi guys, thanks for joining me this morning. Lovely little sunrise behind me. I'm actually just out in the moorlands, just near my house, about five minutes from my house. I thought I'd come out because we've had a little bit of snowfall in the last few days. So I'm going to get the drone up in a little minute and see if we can get any nice footage. There's some lovely old woodlands that are about a couple of minutes walk from where I'm parked. So I'm going to have a little walk about and I'll take you with me. Let's see what we can find. So you'll be able to see this cracking scene behind me. So what we've got is lovely leading lines coming in, fence on the left, stone dike on the right, wall coming through. The snow's just finishing up at the moment. Got a lovely S curve leading you down to, there's a local farm down the bottom there. The sun's just about to break through up to the left of the frame there. It's at 18 millimeters, um, F8, ISO 100, about a thirtieth of a second. What I've got here is a highland cow, it looks very cold today, it's it's absolutely freezing up here. I've passed this a couple of times out in the summer and it, it never really looks that great because it's just a kind of muddy field but I've always thought when we get a bit of snow I'd maybe try and pop in this way and see if they were still out in the fields. So I've got the fire, it's at 500mm on the crop sensor, it's way up the other end of the field at the moment. And I'm trying to keep a fairly fast shutter speed self timer on the tripod just to try and get a nice shot but it's uh, hopefully this will turn out really nice. I've just jumped that gate that you'll have seen me jumping in the video and there's a, a tight little gap through the trees here to get down into the old woodland and there's just like an, an eerie feeling about it today, it's really silent in here um, I think I, I might be able to make something decent out of this I'll try and use these leading lines, this old fence that's broken down trees kind of funneling you through I'll probably try and put maybe a wee bit of it yet, just try and lighten up the middle but just to try and pull you through that centre part of the image but we'll see if we like it when we get in post processing Spotted a nice composition here there's an old trail leading you through the trees here. I've been up here quite a few times in the past and um, I've never actually bumped into a single soul yet. It's always really quiet up here, which is nice. Um, but I think they don't really use this part of the state anymore. So I'm actually up at ISO 3200 at the moment, so I'm not sure how it's going to turn out on the video, but I'm going to try two or three different compositions in around about this area here, trying to use maybe some of these old mossy branches that are covered in snow as kind of foreground leading you through with that track that kind of takes you down. Don't know if there's any kind of compositions that I can find around about this door but uh, it's always kind of intrigued me the few times that I've been up here. It's the back end of an old estate near my house so I take it it must have originally been for like the game gamekeeper or people who were out working in the land kind of thing for storage. Um, I'll zoom out a bit just so you can see it's kind of tunnelled into the side of the hill there. I have no idea what they keep in it nowadays but uh, it's always kind of intrigued me what's in there. So we've got a cracking frozen pond here that's covered in snow. It's been really cold around here the last few days so We've had frost and then it's starting to snow this morning. So I'm going to take a little walk around this frozen pond. Um, I've been up here before and got quite a nice one at sunrise. So there's definitely compositions around about here. today is that it's very monochrome. You'll often find when you're out shooting in the snow that everything's really quite black and white and if you can get some colour of, of, of 
tree or a bush or anything, the sky would be great. Um, so what I'll do, I've took a panel which is very similar to the one that I got maybe a week or two ago when I was out here at sunrise. I'll post the two of them at the end just to show you the difference that it makes getting a little bit of colour into your black and white kind of um, monochrome snow images. So for this shot, it's just again, it's one near the van, I'm just looking across, the sun's just burst through the clouds. There's some lovely trees, the sun's really low at this time of year, so you can see it just sweeping across the field there. I just quite like how you've got the shadow detail where the hill is. You've got the hard frost on all the trees because they're frozen solid at the moment. And uh, hopefully I can retain a bit of detail in the sky. It's The sun's just off to the right, so what I'll do just when I'm about to take the shot, I'll put my hand over to the right and just cover where the sun's coming in from just so I don't get any flare on the lens. I'm getting it all in one take on this one so I won't need to bracket it. We're at 18mm, ISO 100, 125th of a second and f8 and we'll see how this turns out. Lovely snow, been a great day out. Um, the pictures are always quite tough when you're out in Scotland in the countryside in winter time because all the trees die back and all the foliage so it makes it a wee bit tricky but obviously snow can help quite a bit. Hopefully 2021 will be a lot better for us, hopefully everybody will be able to get out a bit. I know probably a lot of people have been stuck in the house this year and the rest of us are all having to go quite local to our houses at the moment because we're kind of locked down in Scotland at the moment. Um, but 2021 hopefully much better year so all the best days and i'll see you in the next one